Juliana. I should have guessed that by you here. Juliana, why aren't you fascinated? <laughs> fascinated? Haven't you ever noticed this before? I've never looked long enough at that painting to notice. Too busy looking at the moon of the court? Every man looks to where he finds his own ideal part. There is a pressing matter that brought me looking for you. What could be more pressing than a mark on a piece of art? <laughs> what is it? That spot? That's precisely it. Don't be so quick to dismiss a spot. That spot goes far beyond any science we ever know. You know, like most Malarites, your pursuit of truth is an honor to be all. And I wish to share with everyone, in the eyes of art, no man is worthier than another. Art doesn't have eyes with which to judge, but men do. This is the problem, and precisely why I sought you out. It is the eyes of the patches and the bow that I am most worried about. I did not hear you enter. I'm sorry to disturb you, my lord. The ambassador is waiting for you. I'll be with him in a moment. I have an invitation from the new archbishop. I have no interest in traveling to meet with him. Send him an invitation for our next book of dinner. The Magnifico. I strongly suggest you to make the effort to meet with him privately. The church is getting suspicious about you, and you would do well to oblige them. I will not oblige them. Send the Archbishop my greetings. I resume matters with your counsel in the morning. Lorenzo, I advise you to cease squandering your time on matters that the church does not approve. They are not a force to be mocked or antagonized. How can you prove? Whether at this moment we are sleeping, and all our thoughts are dreaming, or <laughs> whether we are awake and talking to one another in the waking state. Black <laughs> My brother doesn't take heed of the man whose mother knows the question. Let them hate the star. Because my brother has told us to look at him. Let them hate her, as Lorenzo declares her free and boundless. What do you understand about this? Look at You dismissed. Let's be nice tomorrow. <laughs> I fear my wound is not healed, and neither are my suspicions. Do not worry, brother. That's not becoming. As your injuries continue, so the rumors of the court. Will your galley down from a bit of death of you? Death is not the worst thing that can happen to me. Perhaps I will see you after you finish going. Acceptic sanguis art venerabilis manus suas.
I'm sorry to say you do not have time to be still. The streets are in the camps. You must reassure your people. Your people are waiting, but your duty will not. You must go and reassure them! The brother's not even cold on the ground. I cannot even reassure myself. It was inevitable. Acknowledge and rest. It is you who did not protect your brother. How can you suggest such a thing? I try to tell you the church is not a force to be mocked or antagonized. And who has mocked them? Perhaps if you have left art and science for just one moment, you wouldn't be so blind. Enough! Your people are waiting, but your duty will not. Unless you wish the bloodshed to continue. And what am I to tell them? That I'm still discovering the brother's havoc upon us? That the very Pope who commands the church and declares to be holy a second to God himself is nothing but a cunning, treacherous fiend with the morals of a common thief? By questioning and losing yourself in what you do not know. You have lost the brother of this duty. You must go to your people. Death is not the worst thing that can happen.